This is real fan Walt Burko's Movies of the New York Central, taken in July of 1961. The first location is Park Avenue at 98th Street in New York City, where the Central's tracks go underground. First up is a string of the railroad's older MU cars, including a baggage combine car at the end. This two-car train is headed up by one of New York Central's S-Motor Electrics, the road's first electric locomotives, and some of the oldest in the country. Another train of MUs headed north. Here's an interesting sight, an S-motor bringing a 20th century limited consist to Mott Haven where it will be turned. One of the century's observation cars, Hickory Creek or Sandy Creek, is right behind the engine. The long consist also includes one slumber coach, that's the one with the staggered windows. Here comes a train of New York Central's post-war MU cars, the ACMUs. Notice the pedestrian overpass at 100th Street, now gone, as is the one the photographer is standing on at 98th Street. This train is headed up by one of the railroad's second generation electrics, the T-Motors. An S-motor with a single combine coach. Now we're at 125th Street Station, looking at a string of ACMUs headed north. This is one of the New York Central's largest and most powerful electric locomotives, the P-Motors. Originally built for service in Cleveland, they were brought east in the 1950s and converted to 600-volt third rail operation. Another P-motor headed in the opposite direction. Though a common sight throughout the 1960s, all of the P-motors were scrapped in the 1970s. Now we're at Montrose Station, milepost 38.1 on the Hudson Division. First up is a freight headed by a pair of EMDF units. Brief shot of a real diesel car preparing to stop at Montrose. A pair of Alco FAs heads up this southbound freight train. Trio of Alco RS engines hustles this mail train south. Finally, late in the day, a pair of EMD GPs heads up a through passenger train. <laughs> 